speaking media in association with Boxer. Delighted to be joined by Amal Williams. Amal, I love speaking to you, especially post-fight, because you're always full of energy. Um, that was a hard workout tonight against Steve Rolls. It was. I mean, he was definitely a vet. He knows how to survive. He was somebody that you got to respect him. You know what I mean? you got to respect him. Very crafty. Uh, you know, just knows how to position his bodies in, in ways where a lot of orthodox things d don't really work against him. And you have to be careful because, like I say, boxing is one shot. You gotta, you can't run into something stupid. You know what I mean? So it was a great experience for me, but I also show, you know, even guys at the world level are just gonna try to survive against me. You know, so I felt great in there. In your mind, did you want to repeat what Triple G did? Were you thinking that before the fight? Absolutely. I wanted to do better than what Triple G did. I, I was, I was. Uh, I'm not a person that's going to lie and act like I didn't want a better performance in Triple G. I trained for a better performance in Triple G. That gave me respect and showed me, you know, it's still levels that I have to, I still got a lot to learn. Out of power is there. There's a lot of times where I could have got him out of there. I just had to, you know, engage a little bit more. But that's the whole learning process. That's what boxing is about. You get to these new levels, you take step ups. That's how you learn. You have to go through things like this. And Obviously, before there was potential fights with Felix, Felix Cash. Obviously, we don't know what's happening with Felix at the moment. He spoke to Eddie Hearn. What, what's, hey, what's he promised you? Fuck Felix Cash. I don't want to hear nobody talk to me about that motherfucker. He's a pussy. He don't want to fight. I'm tired of talking about him. Let's go to the next question. I don't want to hear his name no more. What, what are we even talking about him for? You give me some names, Amo. Who do you want? Uh, Got to ask my manager that. <laughs> Come here, Sam. Come on in. Hey, tell him to stop talking to me about Felix, man. I don't want to hear his uh, fucking name. Man, you want to just introduce yourself and give us a name. I've got one more question for you, man. Uh, my name's Sam Pudkowski. Yeah. If it's not Felix Cash, what names do you want Amo in with now? Hey, don't ever say his name no more. Yeah, go ahead. Look, at the end of the day, Felix Cash had his chance, right? There's no point in talking about him anymore because he hasn't fought in over a year. There's no... Who knows if he's going to fight anymore at all. He might be retiring for all that matters. So I, I would say we're looking at eliminators. We're looking at uh, guys that are going to actually get him to the point where it makes sense for a world title shot. Good stuff. Amo, just one thing. As a Southpaw, I just want to show you this. I don't know if you saw this tonight. Have you seen Zile Zhang's knockout of Joe Joyce? No. Because as a Southpaw, I think you're going to appreciate it. I just want us to get your reaction to it. What do you think of that shot? Oh, gosh. This right. happened tonight? Yeah. See, this is what I talk about when I say uh, boxing is one shot. Like you have a you have a idea and you have a plan of what you want to do, but you always have to remember that it's one shot. One shot can change everything. That has to stay with you. You can't get over over. Uh, you know, you can't exert yourself too much or get overly aggressive because what we just seen, you ran right into a shot. And when guys are on a back foot and uh, you know more so looking for that one shot, that's the type of stuff that happens. I'm happy that I, you showed me that because that was what I was thinking about in the fight. That's the things that I was doing to stay cautious, make sure I get a victory. Guys at this level, everybody has knockout power. Middleweight, everybody has that shot that can just happen, that can just flash and hit you down. So we never been stopped, we never been knocked down. We gonna make sure we keep it that way. Um, but things like that, that just shows me you gotta stay sharp, you gotta stay ready, you can't over engage anyone. I'm all, you talk it and you back it up and you're entertaining in and out the ring. I love talking to you. I'll comment to you out next. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother.